Hi, this is Mark McCauley. I'm Vice President of Government Affairs of the Nonprofit Alliance, and this is our monthly legislative video. This month, we're going to devote our video to a very important issue. In fact, it's a foundational issue for the Nonprofit Alliance. That is the question of privacy legislation. Here, the Nonprofit Alliance has strongly advocated for one national privacy statute, a national statute, in effect, a rules of the road for the entire country, which we think would be superior to our current situation, which is a patchwork quilt of varying state privacy laws. Thus, the enactment of a national privacy statute is and continues to be a top priority of the Nonprofit Alliance. It doesn't appear Congress will be uh, addressing national privacy legislation this year, but we've been laying a foundation with a number of key members of the House and the Senate to position ourselves for Congress to consider national privacy legislation next year in 2023. Let me now turn to the states. And in terms of the states, there's been quite a bit of activity. In particular, Colorado and Virginia have both enacted privacy statutes, which will take effect next year. The Colorado statute in particular has a number of positive provisions, but unlike most state privacy statutes, it calls for regulating nonprofits. Generally, these statutes have regulated our commercial partners and exempted nonprofits. And while we rely on our commercial partners greatly, uh, this would be a new wrinkle to have the nonprofits themselves subject to regulation. It is unclear at this point whether the Colorado statute would regulate nonprofits just within Colorado or would cross state lines and regulate nonprofits in other states, and we're trying to clarify that issue. In terms of Virginia, it also has a rather positive privacy statute, but it has one troubling provision. It calls for an opt-in for sensitive data data such as race, religion, one's ethnic origin. And while the nonprofit line strongly opposes any use of this sensitive data to, for example, deny someone a loan or a mortgage, this data is very important, particularly for many of our religious and ethnic organizations. And to that end, we've been working with members of the Virginia legislature to change the sensitive data provision from an opt-in to an opt-out before it takes effect uh, on January 1 of next year. So with that, let me close by saying privacy is a very important issue for the Nonprofit Alliance and one we have and will continue to spend quite a bit of time on. I hope everyone has a good month.